Man, it is a nice day to film. I know y'all see how pretty this thing looks right now. Thing is super clean. Just washed it literally yesterday for a car show. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. And to start off this video guys, I wanna say thank you to all the subscribers that I've been gaining over these past few weeks. So I've actually been gaining a pretty good bit of subscribers over the past few weeks and I really appreciate it guys. I really appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button, hitting the like button, my views are up. And overall, the channel's just doing a lot better, and I just want to thank you guys for the support. So at the rate we're going, guys, we should be able to break 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year, no problem. Which is really awesome, and I'm just really excited about it. We're at like 880-ish or something like that subscribers now. Uh, I'll probably throw how many I got up here in the screen somewhere. But just really, really appreciate it, and just thank you guys for hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. Just continue to do that and just uh you know help me to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of this year by december 31st we should be rocking and rolling and i know how you guys seen in the first clip that my car was you know looking pretty good super clean i actually got it ready for a car show earlier today and at that car show um, it was a small car show nothing really big it was at my church i met up with two of my subscribers at this car meet which was really awesome i've never had that happen before it was just really surprising and i've never had that happen and it's just you know super cool which is a good thing. I mean, it lets me know the channel's growing and there's people out there that, you know, are actually pretty close to me that actually have subscribed, which is, you know, that's just awesome. I mean, that's one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me in my life. I never actually thought I would meet a subscriber that follows me on YouTube in person just because my channel's pretty small, but it just goes to show that it is a small world out there and, you know, a subscriber could be right next door to you and you not even know. But it was really cool talking with them and you know hanging out with them they also had uh mustangs and i'm gonna throw up their uh, instagrams right here on the screen somewhere one of them's sn95 eric and the other one is uh tangerine two valve but they were definitely super cool dudes and they had uh mustangs as well they both had sn95s and both of them have decent little project cars going and i you know wish them all the best like i say it was really cool talking with you guys and i appreciate you coming and hanging out but with all that being said, guys, let's get to our uh, film spot. I'm actually going to try a new filming spot today. Hopefully it works out good. The place I've been usually filming at, which is at my shop, it just, there's too much traffic in the background, too much noise. So I'm going to try to find somewhere that's a little bit more secluded and that way you can't hear cars going by in the video. You survived <laughs> okay well guys if you can't tell the uh, new spot I was gonna go try to do a vlog at it uh, didn't work out so I got to where I was gonna try to film at and usually there's nobody there like never then I pull back there there's three cars back there and people standing outside loitering like come on move out of my spot but that's all right we're back up here at the shop and uh, if you can't tell by the title of this video we're gonna see how much money that I have spent on this car to get it the way it is right now. So we're kind of gonna be going over the storyline of what's happened while I've owned this car and you know, things that's happened to get me where it's at now and the parts I've used and you know, stuff like that. Since I'm gonna be talking about what I've spent on the project so far, I guess I could start off by saying how much I actually paid for the car when I first got it. When I first got this car, my dad had actually got it from a guy and he was gonna, you know, just fix it up and resell it. But I bought it from him for 1500 bucks. Now for 1500 bucks, of course, it did not look anything like this. The paint was faded from front to back. The wheels on it were some hideous looking 18 inch chrome rims. If I can find a picture of it, I'll definitely throw up a picture of it uh, on the screen. But if I can't, like I say, back then I didn't really take many pictures of it because it was ugly. It was, it was a bad looking car and not in a good way. And then I guess what I'll do is I'll just kind of work my way from front to back, you know, doing the lights and the how much I cost to paint it and everything like that. So I'll just, you know, just sort of work my way back down the car. So when I got this car, the headlights were awful. They were really faded and cracked and busted. They didn't really hold in very good because the clips were, uh, the clips that actually hold the headlight in were, you know, broken. So I got new headlights and new fog lights because when I got the car, the fog lights were not there because this is originally, like I say, a GT and it's just got a cover front bumper swap. So with those two added together, that was around 300 bucks just for that. 
because it was a hundred bucks for the fog lights with the brackets for the headlights and the marker lights that came as a kit it was about if i'm not mistaken it's around 150 bucks as well so i probably got 300 dollars in total on the headlights and the fog light assemblies okay next we'll go to the paint and the wheels okay so when i painted this car i actually got a good deal on it i only paid a thousand bucks to get this thing painted and that's also actually with getting the spoiler taken off and the holes filled in to where you can't see them and all that stuff getting it Frenched in. But for a thousand dollar paint job, which is, you know, cheap in my opinion, this thing looks really, really good. And it's been painted now for about four and a half, five years. There's a few spots on it that has came up over the years, which is, you know, which is fine. I only paid a thousand bucks. I know it's not gonna last forever, but it still looks really good for a daily driver and for, you know, a car that's driven a lot. You know, it looks really good. Okay, so the wheels, I've mentioned this in another video. I got them from American Muscle. They're the FR 500s, 18 by nines in the front, 18 by tens in the back. Uh, the wheel and tire combo on this, when I got it, I paid about 800 bucks for the wheels and the tires. The wheels themselves were about 600 bucks, I think. I think it was like $570 on sale or something like that through American Muscle. And of course, since me and my dad run a tire shop, I got tires for a good price, so. So I got some pretty good tires for, you know, around 400 bucks, maybe a little less. So going from the wheels, we'll go straight to the interior. I should have moved this car a little bit so I'm not right next to the lift. So moving on to the interior, as many of you may know, uh, half of this was tan and uh, the rest was black. It was a two-tone, the top half was black and the bottom half of, you know, the door panels, the dash and the center console and everything was tan. So the seats were the most expensive part. The seats were actually 700 and they were about 800 bucks. It was $789 uh, shipped and everything to the door. So the carpet was another $145. The shifter, the SVE short throw shifter was $159 when I bought it. I'm not sure what it's priced at now. The steering wheel with the uh, hub adapter was, the steering wheel itself was $235 and the hub adapter was 90. And you have to have the hub adapter or else the steering wheel is not gonna bolt onto your car. And speaking of the paint, guys, I didn't mention that, but in the, in, just in painting the inside of the car, I probably have around $50 in the, you know, materials for the spray can, the, you know, Scotch-Brite and stuff like that, just to, you know, get the surface prepped and everything. I probably have about 50 bucks and all of that. All right, so moving on to the back, the tail lights I got through LMR, which is most of the stuff I got on this thing is through LMR. The tail lights themselves were $134 and some change. You might as well say 135 bucks. And a lot of you know already, I got the Pipes Pipe Bomb cat back. The cat back I got through LMR, it was $450. And that's probably the best, you know, deal that I could find at the time for the money I had. But definitely happy with the cat back on this thing. It sounds really good. Really, you know, happy with the sound and the tone and, and you know, just overall, just very happy with the exhaust. Okay, so I think we've hit on everything pretty much as far as the appearance goes. Now let's go to the performance side and see how much money I spent there, which is uh, not cheap. For the OGs that have been watching my channel for a while, you know that my car is carb swap. For the ones that are new here, yes, it is carb swap. But yeah, I am very happy with the carb swap. It's been doing very well, performing great. And if you wanna see any other videos on that, you can go watch my other videos. I have plenty of videos talking about how I swapped it and everything. Okay guys, so long story short, I've had three engines in this thing. The one that I got with the car, the one that I had the 60 over bottom end, and this one, which is the junkyard engine that I've showed you a video of before. But I'm not gonna count the first two engines, I'm just gonna add this one, just because this the one that's in there is the one that's running. So with everything that I've done to this, including the short block, the heads, the intake, the carburetor, the breather's valve covers, you know, push rods, cam, everything all together and everything that's under the hood here, you know, to get it cool in far as the radiator and everything goes. So with everything that I've got just under the hood alone, I got $4,070. <laughs> it doesn't really look like it. It's not $4,070 pretty, I can tell you that. But it still looks pretty good. It's not bad. Okay, so now we'll move on to the uh, drivetrain part of it, which would be like the clutch that I got in it, the drive shaft, um, the rear end, you know, things that, things like that. So the clutch in it, it is a factory clutch, but it is brand new. I spent 120 bucks on that. The drive shaft is an aluminum drive shaft. It is a Ford Performance one, and it was $325, I'm pretty sure. The rear end in this thing is a Yukon kit. It is a Yukon locker with Yukon ring and pinion and Moser 31 spline axles. All that together, I spent 550 for the kit and to get it installed, which I had somebody do it for me because I don't have the things to set the backlash and stuff like that for the Barons and junk was 350 bucks. And I got $2,300 in this piece of crap T5Z that 
forward performance says it's so good or decent anyways and if you can't tell i blew the front of the input shaft and bearing retainer all that stuff just come off and that was only with like five pulls on it i got the stock one in there and it's still holding in strong the only reason i got that one over there is because i thought it would be better and last longer but no all right guys so just in the drivetrain alone i have 3550 dollars that's clutch drive shaft rear end that blown up transmission over there i'll count it just because i spent money on it okay so let's sit down and add all this stuff up and see how bad i'm hurt all right let's see 3550 for the drivetrain plus 4070 not counting the two other engines that i went through 7620 plus the paint and bodywork and the wheels and everything so you might as well say 800 bucks for the wheels and tires plus a thousand for the oh man a thousand for the paint and bodywork plus about what 900 for the interior counting the seats and the carpet and everything and the paint so in total guys i have ten thousand three hundred and twenty dollars in this car the way it sits right now if you guys could please not tell my wife about this uh she probably won't be happy <laughs> but guys i love this car i wouldn't trade it for anything i'm probably gonna end up spending thousands and thousands of more dollars on it just like any car guy would man if you got a car and you like it you're gonna spend money on it no matter what anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you got any questions or anything you know be sure to hit me up in the comments down below keep hitting that subscribe button keep hitting the like button We're on our way to a thousand subs and, and man i'm excited We're, the channel's doing good it's growing i'm getting more excited to do more filming and just you know finding the time to do it's a hard thing but guys i really do hope you enjoyed this video i upload every monday at 9 p.m eastern standard time but that's gonna do it for me guys i hope to see you in the next one